Life is like an ocean, and we're all sailors on our own individual ships, going through the unknown and trying to navigate the course of this great journey called life. However, whenever you go about this journey, you have to keep maintaining yourself. You have to keep your integrity, keep your courage, and keep your bravery. Because as you go from island to island, you learn new things. You learn almost unlimited amount of things, and you have access to unlimited potential. However, whenever you start neglecting yourself and you start letting worries get in, that's when the tides start attacking. That's when water starts going into your ship, and whenever you start getting holes and your ship starts getting dinged up, that's, that are those worries. That are going to be those serious worries that you get later in your life that say, well, what if I'm not good enough? What if I can't do it? Right now, we're all going through this scenario, and if you don't take care of your ship, you're going to begin to get holes. And once these holes puncture, they're going to fill up your ship with failure and doubts. All right, let's shift the focus just for a second here. And let's say you're walking along the beach, you know, you can see the tides now, you're not going in yet, you're not a sailor, you're just walking along the beach with your family and you can see the waves and you can feel the sand underneath your feet as you walk. I don't care wherever you be, you can go to California or Florida, one of those two states or nearly all of the eastern seaboard. And you just look at the shore and it looks really beautiful. You can see your whole life out ahead of you. And that's what looking at life is like. You look at it from a far perspective without looking at all the details and you think, wow, life is amazing. And it is. Then you start going into life. As you journey, as you grow older, you get your feet dipped in. You start going. You can feel the sand go deeper as tides suck the sand back. You keep going in. You're about ankles deep and a little bit more. And you keep going and you keep going. As you get into the water, it starts to get murky because of all the sand and the waves are churning the sand kind of like a dishwasher as it churns the water to clean the dishes. It's churning the sand and making the water murky. And you're not sure you're going in the right direction now because the waters are murky and you're almost at your thighs. But now it's a little too late because the water and the undertow is sucking the sand back away from you and sinking you further and further in this journey. And that's when you begin to start having doubts again. You say, I can't go back now. I'm in too far. I don't know. I don't know if I messed up now. I'm, I'm, too, I'm too tired. I'm too lazy. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm not strong enough to do it. Now, as this keeps happening, you keep going deeper and deeper, and eventually these tides will suck you under the water, and they will toss you and turn you around, and you are lucky if you don't hit your head at least once on some sort of rock or abrasion. Now, what happens here, you're just hoping and praying that it's not a shark that's right next to you, and you're hoping that life will let you go. But the smart way to make sure you're all set, you have to have the proper materials, and you have to have a good head on your shoulders as you go. See, in this scenario, we're all each individual sailors, and our own boats are our vessels. There are bodies, and there are mind. If we do not properly maintain our state of mind and what we think about ourselves, we will begin to have holes and punctures in our ship as well. In this scenario, I compared us to a ship because we are just as important, and we need our bodies to get us through. So why not take care of our bodies? Because... Let me tell you, life is not going to be easy and it's going to toss and turn you every which way possible. It's going to take you under. It's going to beat you when you're down and it's going to keep throwing you and not letting you get out. But what I'm telling you is that if you keep being brave, courageous, and fearless, no matter what you're going through, you're going to come out on top. You're going to go through your hard times. Don't get me wrong. Life is going to get its advantages. It's going to take you in. It's going to hit you a few times and it's going to say, yeah, how do you like that? But what's truly amazing about the human race is our ability to set our minds on something. No matter how stubborn or how smart, once we set our mind on something, we can accomplish anything in the world. And that is truly amazing. Thank you guys for watching this motivational video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It's been Better Life, and I'm out. Peace.